welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in Sacramento. This time we're in West Sacramento and we are staying at the Spring Hill Suites in West Sacramento. So let's take a look around. <music> Right when we first walk in the door, I want to point out a feature we haven't seen since we stayed at an element in Jacksonville, and that is that you have to insert your room key in order for the air conditioning and the lights to work. So keep that in mind, just in an overall quote unquote European design. Now, coming in and just like a general overlook at the room, it's actually one of the more spacious rooms we've stayed at. Being in Northern California, we've stayed in a lot of small rooms from San Francisco to Sacramento last time, even the one that we stayed in Pleasanton right outside of Oakland. They have all been kind of on the tinier side and this room definitely feels a lot more spacious. Now, right when you walk in the door, you do have like a bit of a foyer area. We do have a little bit of a wet bar over here. We have a Keurig, which is actually a Keurig proper. Not that I ever use them. And then you've got your ice bucket and some shelves to kind of store some of your stuff. And then we've also got a microwave and a mini fridge. And I always like to stock mine with Uncrustables and energy drinks. That is the key to living on the road, Uncrustables and energy drinks. Now, coming back over here to our left side, we do have a couch which also is quote unquote sponsored by West Elm, which is actually a trundle. So you can pull out the bottom. This is just like the Spring Hill Suites that I stayed at in Pasadena. They have this exact same couch set up. And I have to say, I like it. It's actually nice and big and spacious and has plenty of room for me to spread out with all of my junk, as you guys can see, because we pretty much live out of our suitcase. But it's actually, like I said, it's really nice and spacious in here. There's not a whole lot of light in the back corner. You've got the light from the pantry-esque area, and then you've got one lamp over here, and there's nothing overhead. But overall, it's not terrible. Now, we're going to take a look at the workspace. Hello. I do not know why we have this here. It's kind of like a weird way to divide the space. I don't know. I guess if you wanted privacy from whoever was sleeping in the bed right here, but again, I don't I don't fully understand it. But this is the workspace that you're given and it's a little bit unique from any of the other hotels that we've stayed at because it really is like a formal desk space. You do have an overhead light up here and then you also have a lot of plugs over here on the left hand side. And then this little lamp, which was also featured this exact same lamp at the Spring Hill Suites that I stayed at in Pasadena. So definitely check out that video and see some of the similarities. It's very, it's very interesting. Next up, we're gonna go take a look at the living quarters. So right to the right of our desk area, we do have where our TV is. It's kind of in an awkward spot. And when we get to the other side of the room, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, the nice thing is that it does pull out and it does swivel from the wall, which I love because we travel with a Roku, which legit tip, if you're somebody who's gonna be on the road or maybe you have a Disney trip coming up, maybe you're going on a cruise, um bring a roku because then you can access youtube you can access all of your apps hulu netflix well netflix we all know what happened with netflix but that way you can access all of your stuff while you're on the road and you feel like you're at home and if you've got little kids you can always throw on disney plus which is also changing soon with their whole password sharing thing now it does have a lot of plugs down here we do have more plugs and actual USBs. And then this is actually the dresser space, which I have to say is okay. Um, not a whole lot of dresser space, like in comparison to like a home to suites or some of the other hotels that we've stayed at. And then you also have a bit of cubby um, storage space down here as well if you wanted to use it. Now, back over here is 
where we have the king size bed. Now, one interesting feature of this room, because there is no table per se, is they give you like this wooden box to kind of put your food on while you're eating in bed, which we've actually used a few times because we've had to eat and we had to eat in bed. And while neither one of us are huge fans of that, this does help mitigate some of the food mess on your actual sheets. Now, a feature of the bed is there are lights on either side of the bed and there are little spotlights as well if you didn't want the big overhead. Now, this room does have an alarm clock and we do also have a phone. There are two plugs and two USBs on that side and then on this side, we still have two plugs and USBs but it's actually in the alarm clock. Uh, and then there are two drawers on either side that pull out as well. Now back here in this corner is where you will find the closet. This is where the iron board, the iron, extra hangers, and then also your extra sheets and blankets for the trundle. Now I only see one pillow in here, so if you're somebody who's gonna have, cause you can sleep on the top part of the couch and the bottom, so technically you could sleep two additional people over there, you're probably gonna need more than one pillow. But you do have your extra setup back over here. And again, we have a lovely full length mirror. Say hi to Gary, everyone. Hello. And then back over here in this corner, you also have this storage bench that goes on top of the air conditioning. So again, you have more additional storage if you need a space to kind of spread out. I have been putting my book bag over here sometimes and a few other things that I kind of want to keep close by, but don't necessarily want to keep all the way on the other side of the room. Next up, we're gonna go take a look at the bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. Now, I do like in smaller spaces having the barn door. However, we also aren't huge fans of barn doors, but we have stayed in a few bathrooms that have had actual swinging doors. And I find in smaller bathrooms, it just complicates the situation and makes it almost impossible to actually utilize the bathroom space. So I can appreciate this. And it's actually got a pretty interesting locking feature on it, which I'll have to see if it actually works because now that I fiddle with it, it doesn't feel like it's working. But come on in, let's take a look. So, we don't have a whole lot of counter space here. It's decent for two people, but again, I'm a huge fan of double sinks, and this one only has one single sink, and it's not very big. We do have a little bit of storage space underneath the cabinet, which is a little bit unique. And then the hair dryer and extra towels and the tissues are located over here on this side. Now, I will say this bathroom is actually probably one of the better lit bathrooms we've stayed in because we do have this overhead bar, we have the lighted mirror, and then we also have a light in the shower. And in some of the older hotels, you don't get a light in the shower, which is a little disappointing. However, I will say when you come further back to where the magic happens back here, you poop in the dark. So keep that in mind. We do have a lot of hanger space in here, which I do really like because I hang my toiletry bag in here that holds all of my stuff. And overall, it's actually pretty spacious back here. You don't feel like you're like this, like we were at the hotel in San Francisco where you had to completely come into the bathroom, close the door before you could sit down and fully utilize the space. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys the shower. As I mentioned before, we do have an overhead light in the shower and it does actually kick on the fan in here. The shower is actually pretty nice. Um, it's pretty standard. It's not huge, nothing crazy, but you do have storage to store some of your toiletries, but they also provide you shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, which is always nice in case maybe you're just here for one night and you forgot your toiletries. Now, the shower does have decent water pressure. I've had better, I've also had worse, so it's kind of right there in the middle. So that's gonna do it for the room tour. Next up, we're gonna go take a look at the rest of the hotel. Here is the information card that they give you. Breakfast has been garbage, as usual, but uh, I'll try again to see if there's anything actually good down there one of these days. Here's the hallway, in case you wanted to see it. Pretty straightforward, gray little scheme. Not too bad. The ice machine on both the second and fourth floor. 
no water machine now. Check out the gym and see what they think of it. What they have there. All right, here we go. Let's see if it does it again, y'all. It sure did. That baby shakes when it starts going. Nancy does not enjoy it. No. <laughs> the There's the lobby. There's a little business center over here. They have a business center right off the lobby with one computer, one printer. That's it. So here are the chargers Nacy talked about earlier. So they got four different charging spots out here. A little bit spaced out. But if you have an electric car, you got that. Then here is the front of the building. Over there is a little like sitting area that you can sit at during breakfast and stuff. It's pretty empty at night. So if you want to come out here and sit, that would be an option. And then here's the covered area where you come in to park. But this is the outside. So let's go take a look at the gym and the pool. So the pool area has got one little table. Got a nice pool. And that is pretty much it. That's a tiny pool and it is right on the parking lot. Ooh, bright light. Laundry is all the way down at the end of floor three. Let's go take a look. Yeah, Nace, like Nacy just said off camera, it's not the worst laundry. It smells better than the uh, last Spring Hill Suites we were in. Ooh, that place stunk. Oh, the courtyard? Courtyard, yes. Two Maytag commercials, $2 each. Two twenty-five though, if you put power wash, of course. Gotta love it, nickel and dime everything. We've made it to the workout room. It uh, definitely has a new smell to it. It's got a row machine. Three treadmills, uh, elliptical looking machine, recumbent bike. It's got one of those nice weight machines. One bench, some free weights. It does have a water refill station, nice. Some fake plants where towels are missing, so missing some towels over there. There's a couple over here though. There's some more free weights, balls, and other weights there and then uh, yoga mats. And it's right by the pool. The weird thing is it's nighttime and the lights keep dimming because everything in here is automated to try to save the hotel money. And so it makes it a little weird working out because all of a sudden you'll be in the middle of working out and the lights will dim. But that's the room for you. Go ahead and get the recorder for you. Hopefully you can hear it. This is constant uh, from about 7 a.m. in the morning Till now, you constantly hear explosions, gunshots. Uh, at like six this morning, I heard uh, police cars with their sirens on, and then they were clearly like cadets or whatever jogging behind them, chanting something. So just know that if you do stay here, that is the California Highway Patrol Academy across the road, and it is loud and noisy. Mm -hmm. And. Um, I will say, although this hotel is a little bit out here, like, as you guys can see, like, there's, there's nothing here. If you go this way, about a block or two, you do hit, like, the Ikea and a bunch of restaurants and a few stores and kind of, like, I wouldn't say it was a downtown area where we ate the first day we were here, but it was, like, kind of a downtown area as you head toward, back towards Sacramento yeah. proper downtown. Um, but I will say I feel safe out here. Like I don't, I don't feel like it's too abandoned out there. So and this is the first Marriott that I think we've stayed at, even if you count Hilton's, that have had multiple chargers. In California. Yeah. In California, like this one has at least I think there's three that I can see from here, and then there's a couple that are over here in like the handicap area. So I think at least five. This all day, y'all. This all day. It sounds like fireworks. At times, yeah, and other times it sounds like just gunshots. Yeah. Thankfully, I can sleep through almost anything, but as a night shifter, puts a little crimp in your style. All right, we have uh, started a new journey. We're on another adventure, but we want to talk about our Spring Hill Suites outside of Sacramento. Yeah, so the hotel actually was not that bad. It seemed like it was newer, or mm -hmm. at least newly remodeled. 
it's actually located across the street from the California Highway Patrol Training Institute. So take that for what it it's is. The California Highway Patrol Academy. That that. that. Uh, we'll talk a little about the negatives, but yeah, like Nate said, new room. It was wonderful, spacious, really clean. Mm-hmm. Staff was friendly. Uh, shower was good. The room was pretty big. Yeah. O- overall, pretty nice day in those aspects, but there were some negatives. It is really far away from downtown Sacramento, so if that's where you have to go... It's a bit of a drive. Yeah. And you're going to hit traffic. So I don't know why you'd stay there, other than it seemed like on the weekends there were a lot of like kids doing sports events, so there must be some like sports events and stadiums, mm-hmm. which could be a downfall, too, if you don't have kids and are staying there. It can get really noisy and really loud on the weekends. The other big thing, though, was the chips. Yeah, so they do all of their training over there, and... They do their ballistic training, sometimes starting at 7 in the morning, and they don't stop till 7 p.m., if not later. So you hear shooting all day long. Then also early in the morning, you hear them running, and then the cars behind them beeping their lights, yelling at the trainees to run faster, harder. And then they have whatever their, like, uh, mantra or whatever that they chant while they run. You can hear all of that in the room. So it's uh, a little bit noisy, a little bit Mm -hmm. loud. And especially if you're going to be there during the day, like if you work at nights and are staying there, may not be the best uh, location for you in that capacity. I did feel relatively safe where it was. There were a few transient population people that popped up in the parking lot the last day we were there. But I'm going to be honest, overall, it felt very safe, very clean. It was close to the freeway, uh, and it served its purpose. Yeah, so it kind of depends what you're looking to get out of the hotel. There were some. There were a lot of positives, but there were a couple negatives too to think about. So if you like this kind of video, please hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So please hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified of at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.